Hey folks, it is Saturday, December 18th. The time right now is 10.30 a.m. and the temperature is around minus one degree Celsius. And I am here next to Broadview Subway Station. And there's some pigeons out enjoying the snowfall. And there were some kids chucking snowballs at each other just off in the distance there. But they seem to have retreated back into the bus stop. And this here is Broadview Avenue. And another look towards the station. So for this one, I'm gonna head south down to Riverdale Park. And then I think I'll walk through the park and find my way to Gerard Street East, and then head over to the Allen Gardens. I was premiering a video this morning and I asked the viewers what kind of snow walk I should do today and someone suggested Riverdale and someone else said the Allen Gardens. So I thought why not link those two together on this one. I'm going to try to make the light here. So this is Danforth Avenue. And just off to the east there, you'll find yourself in Greektown once you get to Chester. And just off to the west, Danforth Avenue turns into Blur Street East. And Broadview has been quite a mess for quite a while. They've been replacing the water mains. So that means no streetcars on Broadview. I think they're almost finished. The construction has worked its way all the way up to Danforth here. And the streetcar line terminates at Broadview Station. There's a replacement bus. And this would be Riverdale, which is a rather large neighborhood just to the east of downtown. Separating Riverdale from downtown is the Don River, and we'll be crossing that pretty soon. And we haven't had too many snowfalls like this yet. I think this might be the heaviest one so far. The forecast did indicate it would snow till around 11.30 or at least like this. And then after that, we'll have light snow and flurries for the rest of the day. So I think I'll test out this crosswalk and head over to the west side of the street here. Elbow bump it. Got a camera in my right hand and I am using an umbrella. I don't normally use an umbrella when it snows unless I'm filming. So I had to use my elbow to hit the crosswalk button there.
Oh, and there is the Montcrest School. I guess it's possible there might be kids out tobogganing today. That looks like a pretty good workout. And the inflatable Mickey Mouse Santa is back at that house. And this is the start of Riverdale Park East. And normally you'd have a spectacular view of the skyline from here. But I don't think it's a clear enough day for us to really see. There's a couple of public skating surfaces down below. And some tennis courts. someone braving their bicycle. So there's the ice rink. And I think there's another surface just beyond it. And a public swimming pool. And some tennis courts. And the wind is kind of blowing directly into me here. I'm hoping the camera lens is holding up. It looks okay in the viewfinder. These buildings here are known as the Broadview Mansions. And you can head down these steps into the park. And here, you'd normally get a phenomenal view of the city, but nope, shrouded in fog. All right, the camera lens looks reasonably dry. I see a few wet spots. really unavoidable in this. And these green posts here are not an unfinished fence they're building. They're actually venting gases as this is a former landfill site.
There's some tobogganers out, but I don't think you'd get a good head of steam on this. There's a lot of grass still poking through. I'll have to come back here later at some point and do a Riverdale sledding video like I did last year. Oh, here's a couple of people that are going to take the plunge. Oh, he is moving pretty good. Well, that was fun. And I don't say that sarcastically. I, I'm kind of envious of them. Fun is something we've not been having a whole lot of lately. And at midnight tonight, Scrooge's restrictions kick in. Oh. Here's a snowman being built. I'm still not up to speed on exactly what all the new restrictions are, so I'll refrain from commenting on them too much. But I do know bars and restaurants will have to close at 11 because as we all know, the virus likes to go away at that time. Of course, that's not gonna encourage people to just gather in each other's condos and apartments and that sort of thing. Of course not. And capacity has been reduced. I don't think movie theaters are allowed to sell food. It's been a very long slog and we continue to get dragged through the mud. And there is Rooster Coffee. So straight ahead to the south of here is East Chinatown. And there's a trail I could take to the left, but... Let's go this way. It's been a while since I've slogged it through a field of snow. I was kind of hoping there would be that view of the skyline in the background. And there's some woods off to the north over there and to the side of them is a trail that you can take that'll eventually lead you all the way to Bloor Street East. Or I guess right where Bloor Street and Danforth converge. And speaking of the restrictions, I spent many a day on this hill having a cold beverage while we weren't allowed indoors to drink.
And there's a look back up at Broadview. If you're wondering what kind of footwear I'm wearing, I've got my trusty Columbia shoe boot dealies on. There's the public washroom. Do other countries say washroom? I think we're probably the one that uses that the most instead of restroom or bathroom. You really tend to use bathroom to refer to something in a residence. Whereas I think Americans would often call a public restroom a bathroom. We tend to just use washroom in Canada. And this bridge will take us over the Don Valley Parkway and the Don River. There's a look over at Bridgepoint Health. That's also the site of the Don Jail, or the former Don Jail. And there's a look north up the Don Valley Parkway. Traffic is moving pretty good. And a look south. The DVP terminates just to the south of here. Maybe I'll give the camera a quick wipe. And that's the Don River. And that's the Lower Don Trail. I thought that would have been closed off by now. They were to have closed it in the summertime for some extensive remodeling work. And I think it was to be closed for a seven to eight month period. And I even did a video, I think, called My Last Ride on the Don River where I took my bike down it. And it just never closed. I'm not entirely sure the story behind that. But you could head down here and walk alongside the river. And there's some rail tracks here. And there is Bayview Avenue. And straight ahead is Riverdale Park West. A bit of an itch on my finger and had no real way to scratch it. And there's a dog party going on in this park. And straight ahead there's the Riverdale Zoo. I wonder if there'll be kids sledding on this side of the park. There's also a hill. It's not as good as the one on the east side. It's not as steep or as high, but it'll still do the trick.
there's that other washroom straight ahead. I imagine a lot of these dog owners would be familiar with one another. They probably all come here somewhat regularly around the same times. And nobody is yet tobogganing on this side. There's some luggage just chilling. And there's a staircase. Where's the fun in taking the stairs when you've got a snow covered hill to walk up? Look at the tracks I'm making. So just at the top here is the Cabbage Town neighborhood. And Riverdale Farm. I think I might have called it the zoo earlier. Well, it's basically a zoo. It's just over there. And there we go. I conquered the hill the hard way. And this is the terminus of Carlton Street. It's been a while since I walked up a hill like that in the snow. Whew. I don't feel it in the legs at all. It's probably just a bit in the lungs. And here is Sumac Street. It must be happy hour for dogs because there are a lot of them out today. I guess this is kind of like their Christmas. So let's go south here on Sumac. And then what I think I'll do when I get to the Allen Gardens is I'll stop recording and I'll think about 
a second route I can do. Might as well get two videos out of this. It's still the morning-ish. My plan today was to just get one video anyway, so I wasn't aware that it would snow like this. There's an interesting co-op development. And some of the gorgeous old Victorian style homes. These are the Spruce Court co-ops. There's a fascinating story behind these co-ops. It's a similar one to the Bain co-ops just on the other side of Riverdale Park in Riverdale. There's the Miles and Kelly Nadell Youth Center. And a look at some of the co-ops. I came through Cabbage Town earlier in the week and I was a little disappointed by the Christmas decorations. I came through here in the evening and I recall they were a bit better last year. And here we are at Gerard Street East. There's Regent Park across the street. And the Don River, which we crossed earlier, is just to the east there, and that's when you'd be leaving downtown. And you'd find yourself in Riverdale on the other side of the river. And more specifically, in the rather underrated East Chinatown neighborhood. It's hard to be quiet when you walk when the ground's covered in slop. I guess it's part of the snow walk experience. There's a look north up at Naismith Drive or Avenue. So from here, I'm just gonna head west past Parliament Street and I'll continue west on Girard and that'll take me to Sherburn Street, then I'll walk into the Allen Gardens and I'll head up to, I think there's six greenhouses that house the botanical gardens. So we'll head up to there and take a look. I think that's Spruce Street Public School, or Spruce Court Public School, just to the north. And here is Sackville Street. So I came by in the other direction on that video I recorded earlier. 
And I would have gone north up Sackville, I think to Carlton and then over to Parliament. There's a 506 Carlton short turn. So I think that'll be just going as far as Broadview. That's a virtually empty streetcar. There's the YSM Double Take Thrift Store. I'm hoping my external microphone is gonna survive. I just looked down and it is <laughs> covered in snow while the wind mop is. The microphone underneath is probably fine. I'm pretty sure that's what was ultimately the cause of killing all of my prior Shure microphones. Lost in the line of duty, I guess. I was using these last night. I did a co-stream with Ken. I put a mic on him from the Ken Continuum YouTube channel. And we went for a walk together and live streamed it. It was pretty neat. And this would be the main retail drag in Cabbage Town, just to the north here on Parliament Street. There's a couple of very different styled e-bikes making their way through the snow here. And this is called Anniversary Park. There's a Japanese street food restaurant I've still yet to try. So we're on the east side of downtown. Yeah, not too far from the first destination. I think I'll record another one after this. It's good to start your day by logging a high step count. And this is Berkeley Street. This is a rather nice residential street. And this is all still part of Cabbage Town.
I can see in that guy and just the hoodie makes me realize I kind of overdressed. Wearing a long sleeve tee, a hoodie, and my winter coat. And this is Ontario Street. I wonder if Ken's out making a video. During the pandemic, a number of Toronto walk tubing channels popped up. And a few of them have stuck around. So I'm sure Jerome Forestwood is out right now. Maybe Ken. There's a number of other ones, but I'm trying to remember the ones that would upload quite frequently. There's Alex, who's a viewer of this channel. And our destination is straight ahead. That would be the Allen Gardens waiting for us. And we are entering what is known as the Garden District, we named that after the Allen Gardens, although it encompasses a rather large amount of land downtown. Not sure I can entirely make sense of that one. Here's Sherwood Street. There's a look to the south. And north. This street was all closed off to the south of here earlier. They're doing some work, but I think that may be all finished. And let's just cut right through the park. Sadly, there's a rather large encampment. I'm not sure if this is one of the ones the city has cleared out before or not. That's really just a large-scale game of whack-a-mole. And there's the greenhouses themselves. And normally, you'd have a pretty fantastic view of the skyline lurking in the background here. But not today. So I think there's six greenhouses in total. The last was added in the 2000s at some point. They've been here for quite some time. And it's worth noting, just to the north of here is Carlton Street. And we are here at the main entrance. So this might be where I start off the next video.
it's quite nice since I don't have to get in there and do a video if we're ever allowed back in this sort of place. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this viewer requested snow filled walk starting at Broadview Station, heading south down Broadview to Riverdale Park, then crossing through Riverdale East and West into Cabbage Town, and then making my way along Gerard Street to here at the Allen Gardens. I've just launched, launched some merch you can find at strideswag.com where there's a link in the description of this video to that. And if you wish to support the channel otherwise, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel memberships in the description. And I also have an Instagram account and there's a link to that as well. All right, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.